It was a bitterly cold evening on December 31, 1950, when a curious headline quietly appeared in the Washington Post. A young mother discovers the rotation of the universe, it read, tucked modestly away in a corner. The young mother in question was Vera Rubin, a bright, ambitious PhD student and a new parent navigating the challenging crossroads of academia and motherhood. I can vividly imagine Vera braving the harsh snowstorm that evening, bundled warmly with her infant child, supported steadfastly by her husband and father. She was determined to present her groundbreaking research to a room filled with seasoned astronomers. Vera, armed with careful observations of 108 distant galaxies, suggested something audacious, that the universe itself was rotating, swirling gently around a cosmic axis. It was a startling suggestion. For decades, scientists held firmly to the cosmological principle, the comforting assumption that the universe is uniform and symmetrical, without a favored direction or special place. Vera's idea directly contradicted this cherished concept, and predictably, her presentation was met with an icy silence. It wasn't long before the idea was relegated to the sidelines as a quirky statistical error, quickly forgotten by mainstream cosmology. Yet today, over seven decades later, I find myself revisiting Vera Rubin's controversial claim, as fresh evidence emerges, bringing her once dismissed idea back to life. Using the advanced eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have detected something extraordinary. A new study involving meticulous analysis of 263 spiral galaxies has revealed a startling imbalance. Two-thirds of these distant galaxies rotate clockwise, while just one-third rotate counterclockwise. This discovery strikes at the very heart of how we understand the universe. If our cosmos was indeed uniform, then galaxies should spin randomly, evenly balanced between clockwise and counterclockwise directions. But what we now observe is anything but balanced. The implications are profound, suggesting that our universe may indeed possess a subtle, hidden orientation. To appreciate the significance of this discovery, I recall an intriguing event about 10 years ago, when citizen scientists in the Galaxy Zoo project classified millions of galaxies by their appearance. Initially, they reported a slight bias towards galaxies rotating counterclockwise. To ensure this wasn't merely a trick of human perception, the same galaxy images were mirrored and volunteers were asked to classify them again. Surprisingly, the bias persisted, revealing a curious quirk of human visual perception rather than a genuine cosmic anomaly. This recent study, however, is different. Rather than relying on the human eye, the researchers carefully analyzed pixel intensity patterns in galaxy images. The bright spiral arms of galaxies were digitally assessed, objectively determining their rotation directions. And yet, the same peculiar asymmetry emerged. I find myself wondering, could our universe truly be spinning, gently but persistently, across cosmic time? Such a rotation might initially sound improbable, yet it aligns intriguingly with a bold cosmological theory, the black hole cosmology. First proposed in the early 1970s, this idea paints an extraordinary picture. Our universe is not isolated, but rather sits within the event horizon of a massive spinning black hole embedded within a greater parent universe. This fascinating concept arose when astronomers noted that the observable universe's radius closely matches the Schwarzschild radius, the theoretical boundary of a black hole calculated for an object of the universe's mass. Could this remarkable alignment be mere coincidence, or is it a profound cosmic hint? As I explore this possibility further, I remember that all known black holes exhibit rapid rotation, a direct consequence of angular momentum conservation during their formation. If our universe indeed originated similarly, embedded within a spinning black hole, wouldn't it naturally inherit a subtle but measurable rotation? Yet caution is necessary. Even as compelling as this evidence might seem, the data analyzed so far is limited in scope. The James Webb Space Telescope, 
as powerful as it is, observes only a narrow portion of the sky at a time. This sampling limitation might exaggerate local patterns, producing apparent imbalances that vanish when viewing the universe more broadly. Consider the intricate cosmic web, vast structures called filaments that weave galaxies into massive, elongated threads. Studies show these enormous filaments themselves often spin, their galaxies sharing a common rotation direction. Observing just one filament might mislead us into believing the entire universe has a preferred direction. Only comprehensive all-sky studies of millions of galaxies can clarify if this apparent cosmic spin is truly universal or merely a local anomaly. Reflecting upon this, I recall a fascinating conversation I had with Dr. Shamir, the lead researcher behind this recent discovery. He emphasized the rigorous methodology of their study, stressing how meticulously the spiral galaxies were selected and analyzed mathematically to minimize human and observational biases. Yet even he remains cautious, acknowledging that while their data strongly suggests a universal rotation, confirming such a profound claim demands further investigation across much larger cosmic scales. Moreover, the implications extend far beyond mere cosmic curiosity. If our universe truly rotates, it would mean rethinking fundamental concepts about the nature of space, time, and even our cosmic origins. Could our universe's observed accelerated expansion, attributed to a mysterious force known as dark energy, also be explained by this spinning, black hole-like cosmological model? Indeed, such revolutionary shifts in understanding have happened before. I recall how Einstein himself once dismissed his concept of the cosmological constant as his greatest blunder, only for it to be vindicated decades later by observations confirming the universe's accelerating expansion. Perhaps Vera Rubin's once embarrassing hypothesis will similarly transform from scientific heresy into pioneering insight. Ultimately, this latest discovery challenges us to reconsider deeply held assumptions about our cosmos. The universe may indeed be far stranger, more dynamic, and more wonderfully complex than we ever imagined. As I ponder these mysteries, I invite you to join me in contemplating our cosmic home from this new vantage point. Could it truly be spinning softly through eternity, nestled safely inside an unimaginably vast and ancient black hole, our very existence part of a larger cosmic tapestry? Only time and continued exploration will reveal the truth of this remarkable idea. Until then, we remain explorers, forever looking up in wonder, striving to understand our incredible spinning universe.